What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fathom, man, Eric Sheet Tabor. We are going to be going through tonight's NBA slate. I need to, to change some things up because I, I'm having a little bit of a losing streak here. And uh, it seems like even if I score points, I can't get there. I did post my my early lineup, what I was going to do in, in Discord. And that was the I didn't end up playing that lineup. That would ended up in the $15. But it would have at least got me back to like, I think I would have won like six or 7,000 on, on in the 888, which is what I had it in. Um, so hopefully some of you guys could have used it maybe for single entry, it would have done well for you, but, um, I, I'm a little frustrated. It's a, you know, it can't quite, just can't quite get the right mix these days. Sheets. Uh, I know it was a rough night for you as well. And, yep. uh, you, you know, some, sometimes the harder you work, the worse you do. So I, I was in a similar spot as you, if I had just kind of just threw in my stuff, even like, even like my 6 PM stuff, that would have been yep. fine. Yep. And then I, but you know, I'm. I don't want to complain because, you know, I want to work for the people too. You know what I mean? And yeah. and so I kept on like every bit of news, I kept rerunning projections, every bit of news. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm going to freaking just, I'm just going to keep on it, keep on it. And then the Utah starters came out. And usually at this point of day, I'm like, you know, I'm just done. You know, I'm not doing it again. And then, you know what, but, but, but with Lowry out, I figured it was worth, you know, just running it again, you know, with Lowry out, Conley out. So I ran it again. I uploaded stuff, ended up like 20% Taylor Horton Tucker who did not play, which was, it's uh, so there's that. Uh, so uh, and that ended up uh, being not the main cause, but a pretty decent cause of, for for the for the uh, for the losses. But yep. it's NBA, it's DFS, which means it's daily, which means it starts all over again today. And you know what? Nice little three gamer to kind of get you get you back uh, get you get you back in, in on track, maybe. Yep, I hope so. Um, it's uh you know and, and and like I'm actually like pulling down like I, I this is it's just it's just one of those like rough stretches that I know is gonna turn around but it's just it just feels like you can't qu- I can't quite get the right things any of these nights so hopefully we can improve on it tonight. I, th- I think what you need to do is is you need to get a a, a background like I have. Why you know you, you... Oh, oh to get lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any, the problem anything. is I never have a different background so it's always like gonna be shifting right. and stuff like that. No, but that, but I'm telling you you gotta we gotta finally get Evan. To work on your computer so you can get one of the true DFS backgrounds. I don't know why I'm the only one that can get this thing up here every time. Well, I, I don't like it. That's why I don't oh. like it. Because I don't oh. move around. So I always am coming in and out of screen and picture. I tried it before. I can do oh, it. Okay. I just don't okay. like doing it personally. But I'm happy to I'm happy to, to, to give it a shot. I'll, hey, right Never now, works, right? Things, things are rough. I'll give anything a go. <laughs> I'll right. try anything for luck. Um, all right. Well, let's pull up your screen and we'll go game by oh, game. Here. Right. We have three standalones here. Um and probably some information because you, well, at least with the Clippers, like you're going to, you know, Kawhi is not going to play on a back-to-back, but then again, you never really do know whatever the Clippers are going to do. Um, and, and, and Paul George is probably, is probably, it's like supposed to play, but I don't know that he's going to. Um, I, I'm, I'm sort of up in the air with this game because I don't know what to do as assuming those guys are, are out last night. One of the guys who, who was on some of the, the, the lineups that won, but like, nobody played him and he was like 0.2% owned was Terrence Mann had 40 fantasy points for some reason out of the blue with Kawhi and Paul, jo- Paul George back. Um, Sheets, what do you think about this game? Cause I'm having trouble analyzing it without knowing what's going to happen with Paul George. Yeah. Um, and the, and well, the- I, again, well, well, the good news is that, um, is that uh, it's the early game. So, so, so we'll have that, which is good. Um, and it is kind of, silly to speculate but i will say this this is something i did not know i just want to just throw this out there mm-hmm. only because he's showing up i mean not as a big projection but he's showing up at least on my board i finally found out where moses brown is playing i for, i didn't even realize yeah, so, so right. he's he, he's on the clippers and 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 look at this we've got we've got double digit minutes out of out of uh out of mr brown the last the last two games i think it's i think i think it is worth a mention um and we have what 1.5 plus fantasy points per minute out of Mr. Brown, which is uh mm-hmm. okay. All right. He still looks like he's 15, which is always, you know, that's 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 mm-hmm. good news. Um again, I'm not I don't think I'm playing him, but I just yeah. you know, for you to make that observation. The other observation I will make, um, I guess at this early juncture, is that I currently have um my projections based on Paul George being in. Right. And and what's his name? Uh Kawhi being out yep and and even given that i have well, it's a three game slate so what do i have i have like 50 57 guys projected in total right uh over six teams and the and you rate these guys by point per dollar the 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 best value i have for this game is somebody ranked 32nd like, like there's literally like nothing 
yeah from this game that's that that's getting me anything you know so um i i am anticipating just enjoying my dinner and you know and getting ready for showdown and and, and just kind of rooting against this game in general but if paul george is out then you know these guys are just gonna all look better um and again, you never, you just never know who's playing in Miami. Um, I think everybody's going to play. They need to win, and they have the day, have the day off. I, I think that I, I think we should assume that they're all playing as of now. But like, and you said, then that to me, that's for they're probably nobody coming from that game either. I guess. Um, so that's my that's my initial take. Is I want to make a smaller slate even smaller, <laughs> and, mm-hmm. just, and just kind of just crossing this game out and enjoy and enjoying the first part of my evening. That that's that's my that's my take. Yeah, I don't. I don't have a lot that stands out for me either. Um, again, I'm, I, I reserve my right to change my mind because I I really don't know who's going to play for the Clippers. I really do think the Heat will just send out their their line top lineup. I actually think that they're gonna they're gonna beat the hell out of the Clippers tonight too, for what it's worth. Um, but I as of right now, it's like really weird to say that to have three games and then have one game where there's like no interest. And as of right now, that's what's showing up for me as well. If you wanted to get a little bit. I think Hero, even if Butler plays, is is in play. I think Butler is in play as a guy to spend up on. I think Paul George is in play. Like, and and then I think that you could you could take a chance with with uh, going right back to Terrence Mann. Like, no one, if no one does it, like the guy scored you know forty fantasy points the other night. I, I don't know. I'm willing to take chances on some of these guys or or Batum or something, but I just don't feel like any of them are priorities for me as of right now. So we can move on to the next one without a whole lot else to to go over. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's move on. Okay. So let's talk about it. Um, the Houston, San Antonio. What do you What do you got for this one? Because I so think this is, a where lot I, this is where I have every this is where I have everybody. So I have. Um, I mean, literally the the top fourteen of the fifty seven guys rated by point per dollar are all in this game. Uh, <laughs> either by Houston or San Antonio. So uh, that, that's what I have at least for now. Um, the top guys I have is Charles Bassey from San Antonio. And then you have Isaiah Roby at uh, 3,300 also for San Antonio. I have those guys projected over 6X. But what's interesting is like, well, with all these guys, you know, these cheapos, you have to figure out where your points are coming from. Well, we'll get to Jokic, I guess, a little later. But I think that the, the, the solid guys uh, I have here are Kevin Porter, from Houston, uh, presuming he plays, I guess. Right? Um, Kevin Porter, Trey Jones, Keldon Johnson, J- Jalen Green, Sangoon. So those those five: Porter, Trey, Keldon, Jalen Green, and Sangoon. You could probably play them all if you wanted to. Um, it probably wouldn't play Jokic in that build, but uh, those are like the top guys as far as like the combination of of upside and point per dollar. But this is, this is where all my, the, the top, the top values are coming from, at least for me. Yeah. Um, this is an interesting one. It, it, there's, there's a lot to go here and, it, and it's something that on a big slate that some of these values, I, th- I think we could just overlook and say that they're, they're yeah. kind of silly. Um, but I, I do think that there's, there's some, some merit here. I think that uh, Trey Jones, I think is, is where you start just because they don't have any of their regular weapons. And he's at least a guy who can create offense or whatever. Or whatever, Bass- right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think I think you're playing one of Bassey, Collins, or Roby. I think that those are the right guys to split up, but there will be crossover time between the two of them, uh, between between two of the three of them. Uh, I just think that th- th- those those three tend to you know are sort of the the other the other part of you know that that whole level of value is 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 sort of similar. And then assuming that Richardson and McDermott play, I would put Richardson, McDermott, and Langford in a category. So playing one of those guys. Um, I'm cur- I'm curious how the, the starting lineup shakes out to to know how I really want to play each of these guys, but I'm probably gonna you know I'm gonna assume that we know that Trey Jones is starting and we know that Zach Collins is probably starting. I'm really not sure about everybody else. <laughs> um, so that's that's the way I would do it in groups: Richardson, McDermott, and Langford in a group, Roby, Collins, and um, Bassey in a group. And now this doesn't have to be like to the T exactly what you do. But that is what I'm what I'm going to do. And I think that is the best way to try to separate the value is who are the guys who cut into each other and who are the guys who, you know, could end up benefiting from the other one. So I I'm, I have one of Richardson, McDermott, Langford, one of Bassey, Collins, Roby, Trey Jones, 
then one of Porter, Sangoon, or Green, and I don't mind if you want to play two of them in a game stack. That's how I've got this game sort of uh, scripted. Uh, like, and 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 I also you want to throw Jabari Smith in there as a separate play. I just think he's a good play on his own at his price. Um, so I have, I mean, like most of the guys I'm playing are going to come from this game, like you said. If you wanted to get guys who are going to be low owned because you know we're used to them and. Eric Gordon played 40 minutes the other night. He plays a lot of minutes in general as a, he's an interesting value. If you were going to, if you were going to stack the game, I also think Tari Eason um, is, is really interesting as well, just because he's so good point per minute, but they have a lot of bodies available in Houston. So mostly want to stick with the main, with the main guys, the Smith, Shangoon, green and Porter guys. Um, but just, just to get a little, little bit low ownership to get some exposure to uh, Gordon and Eason is certainly something I'm considering doing. Sorry, that was a lot of talk in there, Sheets. Are you still there? Yeah, no, I'm here. Yeah, all right. You ready to move on to Denver and, and Portland? I, I do yeah, think that's I mean, where you're getting most of your plays from. Yeah, and this well, this is the, the 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 key decision, right? So you have all this value, or whatever, and coming out of Houston, San Antonio, if you want to play the cheapos. I mean, and 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 you have a projection on on Jokic that is what fifteen points higher than the next guy, or something like that. You know, it's close. Yep. Um. And you can play him. So uh, I'm probably not going to just for that reason. Uh, I think that my this ownership projection of 32% is kind of ridiculous. I mean, he's going to be at least 50% owned as far as, as, far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, I agree with you. It's just too easy to play. Um, so I'll probably fade him um, just, just to see what happens. It was really interesting. You know, the, yesterday, well, when, when he played against, when they played against Dallas, told you, I got pretty close in, in the fadeaway in there. I, I tripled my money in the fadeaway. And I didn't have a single lineup with either Jokic or or Luca. And what was interesting about it is that at no point in in that during that game was I even worried about it. You you know, like the way salaries work in, in the NBA, it's like so funny. Like there was not a single lineup that had either of those guys that was even remotely close to to being able to to get in there. Mm-hmm. And it was who would have thought that like Luca against Jokic in a one point game that that made the total right. Um, would end up both of them kind of busting, sort of. You know what I mean? It's a, uh, it's kind of almost weird. And Jokic just put up on just kind of a pretty. That's so funny for Jokic, whatever. Nineteen, eight, and eight. Like people would kill for that line. You know what I mean? Right. And like, and like a couple more things, he's a triple double, and it's fifty five. You know, we're like, friends. what's wrong with him? Right, right, exactly. No um, stealing anymore. Right. So it's uh, it's obviously it's a good, it, you know, it's a good, probably a good bounce back spot. Now, now I want to ask you, um, just for something else to talk about. Did you once tell me there was some stuff with with Nurkic and Jokic or something like that? Yeah, um, that's how that's Nurkic started over Jokic in Denver. They ended up realizing what Jokic was, and Nurkic was still really good for them, and eventually ended up trading Nurkic um, to 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 make way. They played against each other a bunch, obviously in practice. Um, apparently, they were pretty good friends, but they're, they they go tend to go after it pretty hard together. I do like Nurkic for what it's worth tonight. Um, okay. I like the idea of playing at least one, uh, like I like Murray. I think you could play Murray Jokic and one of Brown or Gordon tonight and running it back with Nurkic on the other side. I think that's, I think, I think that that's another thing you could do tonight. Uh, I like Jamal Murray a lot in this matchup. I like uh, Jokic a lot in this matchup. And I, I, I think one of Brown or Gordon, I think maybe those, those might be the guys you separate if you wanted to. And then I'm always a sucker for a low owned on a small slate bones Highland. I mean, we saw it the other night with him. Nobody was going to play. You know, nobody played him, obviously, because it was a bigger slate. He put up 40, 39 fantasy points in 30 minutes. Yep. You know, his minutes are, are hard to track in general, but he's just he's he's you know, he's a fire. He's a fire starter. That guy, he, he really gets it going. And um and in that game, you know, they thought that people were like, oh, well, KCP might sit. So maybe Bones will become a good play. Um, KCP didn't sit. Anyway, I, I just think that Murray, Jokic, I don't think you need to separate them, but I like both of them. Um, and I think that on the other side that Nurkic is my favorite spend up, although I don't mind if anybody wants to play Damian Lillard. The problem is he's only played one game since being back. He wasn't gone all that long. So there's that, um, your Simon's price makes it really hard. I think Jeremy Grant is, it's hard to deny what Jeremy Grant has been doing, but we haven't had Lillard for a lot of that time, but even still, I think that that doesn't have to mean he can't, he can't do anything. And I think even, I think they're all, they're all in play the starters. So maybe get the value like the different types of builds I'm looking at are getting the value from the the Spurs side and, and sort of like not really looking so much for more than one run back from, from St. from Houston. So you get like four players from that game. 
and then you stack up the, the the good guys from this game. I think that's that that's a that's a route that I think you can you can play around with because this is the this is the game that I I think has the most like upside for real points out of your players like the last game is going to be a great point per dollar game but this is the game where where the guys can actually put up the 50s and whatnot and i don't think you have that many player in the previous game who can do so so this is your raw points game and i i think you should be playing Jokic and or murray or and or nurkic in a good portion of your lineups tonight and that's what i'll be doing and mixing in bruce brown and aaron gordon as well yeah so uh as i mentioned i was pretty pretty invested in that Denver Dallas game um and I was you know I was watching all of it that's that was the 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 Dorian Finney Smith game where he had a really really nice game but also the other guys the, the three guys I had down the stretch I had Dorian Finney Smith I had um Hardaway and I had uh, uh Gordon from Denver and he 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 had a very I mean he was extremely efficient you know like he was he was he was like playing the the five, you know what I mean? Like like Jokic was, you know what I mean? Like Jokic was kind of like, not you know, he's not really, he doesn't really play in the five. He was doing his doing his pick and rolls with with, with with Jamal Murray from the top of the key or whatever, and and Gordon would just be right there in the dunker spot. He'd be getting great looks from Jokic and just dunking the ball, you know, and 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 getting you know getting a lot of rebounds, and that's one of the reasons why. Um, uh, Jokic didn't get the triple double or whatever is that Aaron Gordon was very, very active. Now, again, he's not going to go 10 for 13 from the field all too often. Um, but he was obviously very active and, and he put up 42, you know, 42 fantasy points on 27 real life points or whatever. Um, the, uh, the other guy that you mentioned was, was Bones Highland. And I'll tell you, man, this, 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 this kid ain't shy, you know, like, uh, and, and he, he has some range too. He put up some, he was five for 10 from three. I think every one of them was like six feet behind the arc. It was like rigging. It was, it was kind of nuts. Um, um, so yeah, if I'm not going to go to this, if I'm not going to just, just load up on, on the Houston game, what I'll probably do is, is, is kind of a combination of what you said. I'll probably fade Jokic again, and then probably play some of these other raw point guys. Like you mentioned um, guys like, Boy, can you play Lillard? I mean, he's gonna be gonna be unowned, not unowned, you know. But for a three game slate, I mean, how are people gonna do this? You know, I I I would rather play Jokic, right, <laughs> than Lillard. You could play both of them pretty easily. Oh, you think so? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I haven't played I haven't played Lillard in a while. Um, Jeremy Grant, sort of against his former team, right? Yep. Um, yeah, that 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 counts. It's um, yeah, and I'm not gonna. I don't think I'll go back to the Gordon, but I mean a three game slate. I mean, maybe maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Maybe you're supposed to take the secondary scorers from both these teams. Like you take Gordon and Murray, like you said, and then you play Nurkic, and maybe that's it or something like that. I don't know. Um, but look, the, the, look, the best play is Jokic. I mean, let's just call it what it is. I mean, he, he when when you got a guy projecting 15 points higher than the next guy, he, he is the best play. And unfortunately or fortunately, you can play him pretty easily. So if you're playing cash, you, you definitely play him. I, I would say that. Um, but in a three game slate NBA, I'll pro- probably I'll probably do something different. And I'll tell you something else. Remember, look at the look at the spacing of these games. You know, you have the 7:30 um, LAC Miami, and then you have an 8:30. And then you, it's almost not an island game, but I mean you're you're gonna have at least an idea of what's going on. You know, like the LAC Miami game is gonna be done by the time ten o'clock comes, or at least close enough, right? Right. And and Houston San Antonio is gonna be like about about halftime plus. And again, like if you make initial builds with Jokic and you're you're a struggler, you know you could you you could make pivots like really easily. You know, mm-hmm. you, you could turn you could turn him into you, you you want to play two guys at least in this game if you're gonna do play Jokic, even to provide some some swapping. So if you play Jokic and I don't know, anybody, right? And then things aren't going your way, you you ch- change that to Lillard and something else, you know, that then that I think that 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 this game being at ten o'clock helps in that regard. Yeah, um, I agree with I agree with that. Um, so I yeah, that's why I've got like you know a priority is going to be Jokic for me today. Um, I like Jokic and Nurkic and eating up the center spots, and I like mm-hmm. Murray a lot as well. Uh, I love uh, Jabari Smith, and then one of Porter Green Shangun, 
uh, Bassie Collins, Roby, at least one of those guys, Trey Jones, and then one of Richardson, McDermott, Lankford as the early look priorities for me. And I might need to squeeze in somebody who's a little bit lower owned to try and get a little bit off of some chalk later on. But that's sort of what my my overall wow. thing is. Sort of looks a lot like what your screen is, except for I, I'm not into the uh, wow. the, uh, the the Keldon Johnson I'm into, but I'm I'm not like I don't know. I'm sort of up in the air on that one. I think I'd rather spend in the last game if I can. But I don't blame you. <laughs> um, I mean, what's Jamal Murray's price? Seventy two. I mean, <laughs> right. but at the same oh. time, I mean, Keldon has been better a better producer for the most part than 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 Murray has, but. It is weird. The one thing about the Spurs value, just want to remind everybody, they have bodies and when they have them, they tend to use them. So you're going to get guys like if you're playing the 150, include Malachi Bronham in your into your builds. All right. So this is what what we're going to do. We're going to wait. Who's Malachi who? Bronham. Uh, We got to figure out this guy. So Malachi Bronham. Okay. I'm just saying to mix in different values. Well, why not? He's got minutes. It's not like this guy I've never heard. I mean, he's no. 25 and 20 minutes. That's fair enough. And Josh Richardson is supposed to come back tonight, but I don't know how limited he's going to be. Uh, and Vassal, we have him maybe playing? or No. He's no, doubtful. Vassal. Okay. Did you see that? Vassal's doubtful? Yeah, I have him as out. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so, all right, so let's look. We're going we're gonna to say this. We're, we're going to announce this now. We'll put it in the Discord. We'll put it on, on Twitter, whatever it is. We're going to try this. So 11 p.m. tonight, okay, it's going to be probably maybe like halfway through the f- the fourth quarter of the showdown slate, right? And it's going to be about halftime of the Denver-Portland game, right? Yep. So what we'll do is we're going to go live at 11 p.m. Eastern and hopefully have something to sweat and between that, between the basketball and being at second half, the uh, football being in the final quarter, you know, half quarter, and maybe a hockey, may, well, maybe we'll have something to sweat where we can make it somewhat entertaining. And if anybody out there is listening to this and they're deep in something, just watch this YouTube channel for notification. Or maybe maybe we can actually be professionals and set this thing now to, like, go live at 11 p.m. I, I know somebody knows how to set that up. Um We'll figure uh, it out. <laughs> we'll, fig- we'll figure it out between the two, two of us, I guess. Us. Um, right. But yeah, so 11 p.m., we're, you, like you say, you put it out in the universe and we'll make it so. We're going to do it. Right? 11 right. p.m. today, we will be live either to whine about how crappy we did or to, to, to brag about how well we're doing. But the idea is that someone else maybe gets in there and says, hey, I'm deep in something. Let's sweat this. And then maybe I could do some play-by-play. I can't really, we can't really show the games, but maybe we'll do some play-by-play. We'll put the lobbies up, and we'll just experiment with it and see how see how awful it goes. And worst case, if nobody shows up, we'll record it. So, um, Sounds good. okay, all right, yeah, we're we're, we're I'm in on it. Um, and by the way, she told on for one second after we were set yeah. recording. Good luck, everybody.